Hi everyone. So how are you all? I hope you are doing well. So welcome to Achievers Academy. So you must be aware of uh, the TSPSC Group 4. So if you are preparing for this exam, then you must practice for the previous year's memory based question to boost up your speed. Uh, you know, uh, solving this previous year paper, it will help you understand the pattern of question asked, uh, you know, and it will help you to score good marks in the examination. Obviously, previous paper of any exam, whatever you are appearing for, has been of great importance uh, for understanding the, you know, real type of question asked in the examination. So in this paper, in this session, we will discuss obviously the previous paper, we will solve it, we will do the discussion of how to approach paper. So this is paper two of secretarial abilities conducted by me, Shivangi Shivastav. So let's get started. Okay, so here are a few questions, like there are 25 questions in total, out of which 10 questions are of sentence rearrangement or you can say para jumble, yeah? And uh, the rest of the questions are from reading comprehension. There will be three reading comprehensions of each type, direct questions, indirect questions and implied questions obviously based on you know historical events uh, current affairs and day-to-day uh, -day, uh, you know current affair so okay so let's get started with the para jumble questions so let's read the direction i have already uh, taught this type of uh, para jumble in our previous sessions and i have already discussed how to approach these types of questions okay so let's see if we are able to solve with those approaches that we have already studied find out the proper sequence of the following sentences to form a meaningful paragraph so there are obviously six uh, statements and uh, there are options uh, given for this rearrangement okay so first of all see if the options are not given then you have to you know uh, write down like this for one two three four five six so that we can solve it okay now we know some of the tips and tricks that first statement cannot be this last statement has to be this and all that thing so let's see our a starts with hence the meal that is taken in the morning is breakfast so we have already studied we cannot start our paragraph with this word hence what are all other words that cannot be your first statement hence therefore thus so that's why as a result of so these are resulting statements these are always in the end okay so hence so this is pretty much clear that a has to be in the end so let's see all the options have a in the end okay the word originated which word we do not know we have to choose that word during daytime we keep on eating and munching every other three four people often ask as to why breakfast is important okay so this seems to be a generic statement this seems to be generic statement why breakfast is important so first statement will always be your general statement asking questions or universal fact or wherever noun is there introduction is there so it's pretty much clear that d has to be the first um, option okay now we are left with only two options this and this but duration but the duration between dinner and breakfast is pretty long the answer lies in the word breakfast itself which answer have we asked any question yes we have asked a question why breakfast is important this will get paired with this so d and f has to be together now with this pair we got our answer option number two is the correct answer d f b c e a okay okay so in the examination first of all there are few things that you have to keep it in your mind to you know increase your speed first of all look at all the options very fast 
so by looking this we got ki all the options has a in their end okay so no need to go for a option no need to read the a statement because a is in any either case a will be in the end only hai na so now there are two options with uh, d and c as the first statement so okay so just read only c and d to eliminate the option okay here elimination technique is important to increase your speed if your para jumble has been asked this way in which options are given hai na to first of all we will find out the first statement it will eliminate most of the options and then we will find out the pair here we found the pair df because in the d statement a question has been asked why breakfast is important and in the f statement the answer is given answer lies in the word breakfast itself okay let's see all other statements if they are correct or not the word originated which word this word why breakfast is important answer lies in the word breakfast itself the word the word got paired yeah okay let me change the color of the ink the word the word originated from the fact that after dinner we don't eat the whole night and this is a long time for the body to go without food okay so in this we have stated the fact of during the night time we don't eat the whole night and during day we keep on eating and munching every after 3 to 4 hours but the duration there is a contrasting word but obviously this will go after some contradiction statement duration between dinner and breakfast is pretty long hence now comes the result the meal that is taken in the morning is breakfast okay let's proceed further that no amount of policing can issue solve the issue which issue we don't know what issue we are talking about the fact that the stadium was not full and the touts outside were having a field day show okay it is odd that last section of the media did not report the black market in tickets during royal challengers bangalore chennai super kings ipl match in bangalore something that should have been taken seriously okay so let's see the first statement is c itself we don't have to use our brain use our mind in this because c is same in all the option so c is the first statement okay we are talking about royal challenges so what is this royal challenges we don't know and in this d option we are uh, we can see ki it's an opening statement means here is a comma so it must uh, need another statement to be a complete statement so it's a opening statement it needs a closing statement so d has to be paired with something something uh, uh, that no amount of policing can solve the issue okay uh, so i think uh, a is also not so clear so uh, we can pair it with d because it's all it's, this is also half statement and this is also half statement so d and a makes a meaningful statement like bangalore chennai super kings ipl match in bangalore uh, okay is it okay so c is the first statement uh, we are still not sure ki d and a can get corrected or not uh, is there any option with d and a guys no i can't see okay so d and a cannot be your uh, you know pair because it's not forming a meaningful uh, statement so this royal challenges so what is this royal challenges we need to uh we need to explain this what, what is this royal challenge so this is uh, bangalore chennai super kings ipl so after c there must be d so after c there must be d yes we got c d we got c d now two options have been eliminated we have to think between c and d that is 3 and 4 option number 3 and 4 okay just look at it a is the concluding in both 
बैंगलूर चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स आई पी एल मैच इन बैंगलुरु द फैक्ट दैट स्टेडियम वॉज नॉट फुल एंड दैट आउट आउट साइड वेर है फील्ड ए शोज समथिंग दैट शुड हैव बिन टेकन सीरियसली वॉट शुड हैव बिन टेकन सीरियसली वॉट इज दिस समथिंग दैट नो अमाउंट ऑफ पॉलिसी येस दिस फॉर्म्स अ पेयर दिस फॉर्म्स अ पेयर गाइज इन ई स्टेटमेंट इट्स इट्स रिटर्न कि समथिंग दैट हैज टू बी टेकन केयर सीरियसली एंड वॉट इज दिस समथिंग सो दैट नो अमाउंट ऑफ पॉलिसी कैन सॉल्व दिस इशू सो दिस ई एंड ए इज पेयर सो वी गॉट थर्ड ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज गाइज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री सी डी बी ई ए ओके हाउ वी हैव सॉल्व दिस बिकॉज सी इज सेम इन ऑल द ऑप्शन सो वी डोंट हैव टू पुट आर ब्रेन्स इन सी ऑप्शन सी इज द ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस पैराग्राफ नाउ वॉट इज दिस रॉयल चैलेंजेस दिस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वी हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई इट फर्दर सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई पी एल मैच दैट इज कंडक्टेड बींग कंडक्टेड इन बैंगलुरु Okay, so after C there must be D, and uh, there is only one option following C D. No, there are two options following C D. So we have eliminated option number one and two. Now C D. Uh, okay. Now this Bangalore has to be get connected with some other statement. We got this. The fact that C D was not full and that doubts outside were having field issue. Also, we can form this pair. that no amount of policing can solve this issue and what is this uh, uh, you know relative pronoun that we have to write something before this something that have should have been taken seriously that no amount of policing so this a and e is forming pair and this uh, e and a is forming pair and this e and a is only in the option number 3 now question number 3 okay uh in this question all the options have different options uh, different sequence percentage of population below poverty line has been decreasing therefore it is a welcome sign it has to be paired or it has to be in the further it cannot be the first statement obviously poverty alleviation is one of the most significant program we have introduced something so we will start with c this eliminates two options 1 and 2 now we are left with only two options third and fourth poverty alleviation is one of the most significant programs although this change is slow and gradual which change it appears to be consistent the exist extent of success of this program which program can be sensed when we study the proportion of people below poverty line and there there is some other statement also with similar types of word people below poverty line population below poverty line so this makes a and e to be paired okay a and e or e and a so this is e and a we have e and a in both these statements okay therefore it is a well now this change we have to introduce the noun of this therefore it's a welcome sign but we must guard against out escalating rate of population growth although this change is slow and gradual this makes b and d to be pair because in d we have this change we have to introduce what change so escalating rate of population growth we are talking about the escalating rate of escalating means increasing rate of population growth okay so b and d we have b and d in this so the correct option is option number 3 c b d e a we have e a as our pair because in both these e a line we have similar types of word people below poverty line population below poverty line yeah now we have formed one more pair this change which change this escalating rate of population growth so this makes b and d as a logical pair right c is the opening statement b d is pair e a is pair proceeding forward moreover so this is again your supporting conjunction like similarly yeah moreover okay 
Salaries in public sector enterprises are not as competitive as those offered by private or foreign corporate. Now let's look at the options. We have uh, either either C can be your first statement or F can be your first statement. Okay, C and F. PSEs have been experiencing severe challenges in attracting, motivating, and retaining their key staff. Employees in specialist roles specially have become increasingly difficult to retain. So this is pretty much clear that we have to, since we have to introduce the name of something, noun. So C is the first statement. This eliminates 1 and 4 because 1 and 4 have F as their first statement. But we need C as their first statement yeah okay this trend should be wake up which trend this pscs have been experiencing severe challenges in attracting motivating retaining their key staffs this trend should be wake up so i think uh b should follow c cb should be pair according to this two should be the correct uh, sequence but let's see after reading everything third can also be your statement right so uh, right now i'm just thinking okay second can be my correct answer but it's not sure yet uh, let's read other uh, um, cf employees in specialist roles especially have become increasingly difficult to retain this trend should be wake up for stakeholders to examine why employees are seeking better opportunities with private companies in India and abroad. I think B should follow F because in F we are again introducing something. Key people in specialist roles, they are leaving their co company. They are leaving their companies. So it's very difficult to retain them in their companies. So the stock stakeholders has, to, it is a wake up call to for stakeholders ki how we can retain them, how we can create better opportunities uh, to those employees so that they cannot leave the company, so that they do not leave the company. So yes, B should follow F, C, F, B. According to this, Third can be my correct statement. Now I will read the sequence according to option number three. C F B E A D uh, E. One reason is that okay. Now here the reason is also stated. Young employees lured away. Lured means attracted away by private firms. Hence we are talking here about the private companies. So we are. Uh, so we are in, uh, you know explaining it further ki private firms are luring those employees with more you know attractive perks they are more willing to undertake professional risk because of the attractive perks moreover or to or salaries are also good in uh, private in public sector salaries are not as competitive as those offered by private that's why we are talking here advantages of private sector over public sector and this is the reason why employees in public sector are leaving the companies and they are going to private sector they are seeking private sector jobs having identified these as the reasons okay so we have stated some of the reasons obviously right this a and this e e a have stated the reason and in uh, D is a conclusion. Yeah. Why employees leave? We have stated the reasons. It's important to empower stakeholders to find ways to remedy the situation. First of all, we have stated some problems. And at last, we are asking to find remedies of these situation. Yeah. So in the examination, how we will solve this? First of all, we will eliminate by finding out the first uh, statement. Finding first statement will eliminate at least two options, like first and fourth. Okay, then we are left with two options. Then we will find out the pair or we will find out the uh, conclusion. But here we do not need to find out the conclusion because both the options have D as their concluding statement. So we just need to find out the pair pair is also same kya? no 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 pair is different ea is there and there ef is there okay japanese toys for instance are of great demand despite the heavy import duty the toys that they produce are 
फॉर इंस्टेंस मीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल ऑब्वियसली कम आफ्टर सम स्टेटमेंट दैट दे प्रोड्यूस हु प्रोड्यूस वी डोंट नो ऑफ इंटीरियर क्वालिटी दियर मैनुफैक्चर हेयर नीड टू बी रिमाइंडेड ऑफ दिस विच वॉट बट मेकिंग दैम इज नो चाइल्ड प्ले सी एवरी स्टेटमेंट हैज सम प्रो नाउ द स्टेटमेंट स्टार्टिंग विथ प्रो नाउन कैन नॉट बी योर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट स्टार्टिंग विथ प्रो नाउन कैन नॉट बी योर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट टॉयज आर मैंट फॉर चिल्ड्रेन ओके हैव वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड आर पैराग्राफ टॉयज आर मैंट फॉर चिल्ड्रेन दिस एलिमिनेट्स एट लीस्ट टू ऑप्शन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड वी आर लेफ्ट विथ टू ऑप्शन फर्स्ट एंड फोर्थ Toys are meant for children. Okay. Not surprisingly, many pre- parents prefer to buy the imported variety, even though these are usually much more expensive. Since we are talking about imported varieties, so we will, ah, uh, we will find out the country from where it is imported. So here, for an example, we have written about cha- Japanese toys which are imported from Japan. So obviously, A will follow F. F A is pair. and fa is same in both the statements okay no use of it toys are meant for children okay their manufacturers here need to be reminded of this what the toys that they produce are almost without exception of interior quality yeah it can be the e c b yeah then our uh, you know pair fa but making them is no child's play do we have this type of uh, uh, sequence e c b f a d yes so fourth is a correct state uh, correct option okay first of all we have introduced ki uh, toys are meant for children but uh, in the end we will you know write down the gist ki making them is no child's play although it is meant for children but we are more uh, emphasizing on you know manufacturers of toys like toys have to be very delicate and they have to be uh, safety has to be the first concern yeah they should be of interior quality the manufacturers has to be very uh, subtle precise and uh, very conscious so we are mainly emphasizing on toys manufacturers so in the end we will conclude it like it's not since although it's uh, meant for children yet making them it's no child play yeah so d is the ending state a uh, some student will ask him ma'am why first cannot be my answer because guys fa is in the end it has ended the statement with it has ended the paragraph with a statement yeah and ed toys are meant for children but making them is no child's play yeah it can be your answer but reading further uh, their manufacturers here need to be reminded of this toys that they produce are almost without exception so d and c are not uh, uh, you know forming uh, pair they are not uh, uh, creating logic d and c cannot be together that's why first cannot be a correct answer next this sector employs which sector we do not know we have a pronoun automation would then replace would then so we have to uh, uh, find something before this then the landscape of 150 billion it sector but is but it is gradually moving away again we cannot start with but so this uh, a option is uh, eliminated out automation would then replace the landscape of 150 billion it sector one of india's largest job providers changing fast owing to owing to means due to technological advances in automation and robotics okay this can be my first statement uh but it is gradually moving away from linear growth model okay automation would then replace entry level jobs okay no 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 
this sector employees we have to uh, write down this a statement just after which sector okay we have to find out that particular noun that can follow uh, statement number a so obviously we are talking about it sector right that it's one of the largest job providers then we will write down this sector employs itne lag indian directly and has created over twice as many jobs indirectly to other fields so c a can be your correct answer but it is gradually moving away from linear growth model we have contra contradicted the you know um, it sectors uh, you know positive point we have started the paragraph with prose of writing prose of it sector we have written two prose in first and second and in third we have contradicted it and then at last we have uh, introduced some other uh, sector automation would then replace entry level job okay it will get replaced by automation so c a d b is a correct sequence next by this measure again we have a pronoun first statement can be e or b can be e or b in 2015 when the report was issued there was criticism of the report's methodology from a recently released report by oxfam the global charity organization we learned that eight rich people own as much wealth as half the world's population in 2016 Okay, so we have to choose either B or E. Yeah, so we will here follow the rule of chronology. So what does the rule of chronology says, guys? That date should be in the increasing order. Name of the year should be in the increasing order. First of all, two thousand fifteen will come, and then two thousand sixteen. This will form a pair like this: D B E. in b 2015 in e 2016 has been discussed so b e should be the uh, correct uh, pair so this eliminates again two options option number 1 and option number 4 okay so let's read further from a recently released report we learned that eight rich people own as much wealth as half of world's population to the 16 okay b e c or d in india as per that report okay we can uh, use c statement things are just as plain as against the rich 1% of indians hold as much wealth as that held by 58% of indian population the critics argued that the report assumes wealth is asset minus debit debt okay asset minus debt yeah so b e then it can follow c d by this measure a poor indian farmer with little debt 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 and little asset can end up richer than a wall street bank with little asset and large student loan okay and then these statistical issues aside what the oxfam report does show is in nasely who is really poor in the world okay so this seems to be concluding line this seems to be concluding line so the correct option a is option number 2 b e is pair just because of chronology f is the conclusion c d c is just no uh, the continuation of e in the e we were talking about report and in the c it's written dat report d a is the uh, pair again uh, pairing statement asset minus debt and in the a we have elaborated further debt and asset and f we have concluded the things so second is the correct answer next 
Safety first is the last concern of Indian road users who think that they are like proverbial cat with lives. Safety first. This can be my first statement, obviously. Uh, perhaps our numerous engineering colleges and technological institutions can think of such project. Which project? We have to pair it. We will get paired with some other statement. It should be made mandatory. Again, C has to be paired with some other statement. To have rumple strips or speed bumps on either side of such crossings in order to minimize accidents. Okay, so D is the closing statement. I think C and D can uh, be paired together. C and D. It should be made mandatory to have rumble strips or speed bumps in order to minimize accidents. Powerful blink light and loud hooters that can be activated just before a train crosses should be thought of. And we can pair it with B. Perhaps our numerous engineering colleges and technical institutes can think of such projects. So E and B can be paired. So C, D, E, B. C, D, E, B. Or E, B, C, D. This cannot be my first statement. A, A is the first statement, right? So this eliminates third. C, D. I need C, D. Or A, B. Okay. Uh, okay, it's D, C, yeah. In order to minimize accident, it should be made mandatory. Okay, it's not C, D. It's uh, D, C. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Okay, so A has to be the first uh, statement because it has introduced something about safety first. Then we have formed a pair of EB, powerful blink lights and uh, loud hooters. These are the two such projects that engineering colleges and technical institutions can come up with. So EB and then DC. In order to minimize accidents, it should be made mandatory. Okay, so this C has to be paired with something. So D and C has to be paired. Okay. So the correct answer is option number 2. Next. The center has issued uh, since issued rules. Since is adverb of time here. It has been, uh, we, have, we haven't met since then. So since here is adverb of time, so you have to introduce uh, some year, name of the year or time. Loss of natural wetland is an ongoing catastrophe. Catastrophe is damage, destruction. A decade ago when the Salim Ali, Ali Center of Orientology and Natural History released a conservation atlas for all states using space application. I think C can be the first statement. A decade ago. And it can get paired with A. Center has since issued rules. So C, A can be our pair. This eliminates all the other options. And the correct option is first. C, A, B, E, D. A decade ago, Salim Ali released a conservation atlas. Center has since issued rules. Loss of natural wetland is an ongoing catastrophe. It reported tragic fact that 38% of wetland had been lost nationally and shockingly in some district only 12% survived. Moreover, research study shows moreover means we have to find a statement where data has data have been all, already discussed. So in E, we have uh, suggested a few of the data of the report. So it will follow D option. Okay, E and then D. D option will follow E option because in D we have moreover. Okay, so the correct option is option number one. Next, this is the last uh, rearrangement. Boulder isn't always better, however, we cannot start our center. I think I have discussed the same para in our. Pre, uh, you know this para jumble session that we have conducted i guess i have discussed it because this uh, para jumble was in my uh, 
content i am not sure ki whether i have discussed in this class or not uh, so okay so let's discuss bolder isn't always better however we cannot ever start with the word however red orange and purple are vibrant colors with energizing effects to counter the blues so b is the first statement obviously because uh, we cannot start with however we cannot start with the pronoun the i must catch it what it too much color can be overwhelming it can be overwhelming it's something contra contradicting here we are talking about energizing effect here we are talking about overwhelming to some people so if not change the color paint go for bright color table cloth instead okay so we have to start with b this eliminate first and second red orange and purple are vibrant color with energizing effects to counter the blues so if not change of paints go for bright color tablecloth instead yeah the i must catch it it stands for it is written for which noun this bright colored tablecloth singular noun will get paired with singular pronoun this is singular pronoun and singular we have to look for singular noun and this singular noun is a bright color tablecloth so e and c is the mandatory pair so we have e and c in this fourth so fourth is the correct option okay the i must catch it look at it study it bolder isn't always better however however will always change the paragraph too much color can be overwhelm to some people however will always change the paragraph it is generally in the end or the second last line or the third last line okay so b e c a d why third cannot be your correct option because we need e c this is a mandatory pair singular noun will get paired with singular pronoun so that's it for uh, today uh, in the next session we are going to discuss a previous year question that was uh there in this tnpsc uh, you know a tspsc paper reading comprehension we will uh, discuss the reading comprehension that was asked in the previous uh, paper we are discussing the 2018 paper guys we are discussing the 2018 paper okay so see you then bye bye take care